to see everyone. Okay, hello and welcome this Saturday morning. I hope you have also nice plans because it is uh, fireworks day, <laughs> really. So everyone, please take a comfortable um, space for yourselves. Take a comfortable position. If it is seated, be seated. If it is on the floor on your bed, take that. Leave your camera on or off according to what is comfortable for you and take warm clothes. In a bit, we're going to take a deep breath. And when we breathe out, let your eyes relax or even completely close if that is comfortable to you. At any point of this practice, if you feel unsettled, you can change positions, you can open your eyes, you can make yourself comfortable again and come back into the practice when you feel ready. Another deep breath. And when you breathe out, completely let go and allow the chair or the floor or the bed to completely support the weight of your body. Just take a couple of moments to concentrate on your breathing. Letting the day before pass by and be somewhere in the background. Bringing your attention only to the here and now, allowing yourself this break in time to be able to only notice your breathing yourself as you are right now. Thoughts throughout this practice will come and go, and that is normal. And you might even find yourself completely distracted. That is also that something that is happening here and now. Acknowledge it, perhaps not where your mind drifted to. And when you feel ready, gently and lovingly, bring your attention back to your breathing and your body and your practice. Breathing in and out, gently noticing the movements that your chest might be making or your belly with your breath. Noticing where you feel your breath the most. Is it the nose? Is it your throat? Is it your chest? What is happening with your shoulders while you breathe? What is happening with your waist and your belly? And gently, kindly, bringing your attention down all the way to your left foot and bringing your breath down there, going through your chest, through your belly, down your thigh, through your cuff and sing, all the way through your toes, out to the room and back in again from your nose. Breathing in through the nose, throat, chest, belly, thigh, sing, toes and breathing out, out into the room. And now breathing in, bringing your attention and the breath back in your nose and completing this circle. Gently in and out, noticing the flow. In through the nose, down your body, through your thigh and left leg, out of your nose, letting the breath go completely and then breathing in again. And as you allow this flow to happen and you're noticing it, bring your attention just gently to your left toes, allowing the breath to happen in the background. Then just have a feeling of your toes and what is happening. Feel for every, any tension, for any 
strange sensation, any pain, perhaps the weight of your foot on the floor, on the bed, and bringing the same gentle attention to the whole of your foot, to the shawl, and to your heel, and to your ankle, the whole left foot. And traveling your attention a little bit further up on your seeing. And from your left seeing to your left calf. And from your left calf to your left knee. Gently, with curiosity, without judgment, just taking inventory of anything you might notice, or even the absence of any sensation. And with the same loving curiosity, bringing your attention to the top of your left thigh, behind your thigh, your left buttocks, and gently moving it around down to your right foot, your right toes, the sole of your right foot, your right heel, the whole of the right foot, your right ankle. Remember to just take inventory of anything you might notice or absence of something to notice. Look at it with love and curiosity, just what is happening here and now and moving your love and curious attention to your calf, your right calf, and then your right sin, your right knee, all the way up to your right thigh, And behind your right thigh. And your right buttocks. See if you can still even notice your breathing somewhere in the background. Bringing now your attention to your hips. Your right hip. your left hip, both your hips and how they support perhaps your weight on the chair or on the floor. And then your pelvis. How is your pelvis right now? Is it rolling to the back? Is it rolling to the front? Is it in the middle? What sensations do you notice, if any? Is it happy? And bringing your attention to your belly, your lower belly, and slowly moving up from your lower belly to your navel, your high abdomen, your upper abdomen, the whole belly. And coming across to the back, the top of your pelvis where it meets your spine, your lower back, your upper back, across to your ribs, Coming to the front to your chest. 
Noticing what is happening around your chest. And if your mind has drifted off, gently acknowledge where it went. And when you feel ready, bring your love and your curious attention back to this practice. Moving your attention to the top of your shoulders and how they're sitting right now. And coming across to the back where your shoulder blades are. And on top to your neck. Where is your neck at? Coming across your left shoulder, bringing your attention to your left fingers. Your left palm. The left hand. Your left wrist. Perhaps even notice which parts of your body give back more feedback to you for different sensations in comparison to others. From your left wrist to your left forearm, your left elbow, your left arm. Back up to your left shoulder and moving across to your right shoulder. Down to your right fingers. The right palm. The right hand as a whole. The right wrist. You might even want to notice if there are differences between your right and your left side. Or the upper body and the lower body. Bringing now your attention to your right forearm, your right elbow, and your right arm, all the way up to your right shoulder. Bringing again your attention to your neck and your throat. And how are they supporting your head right now? Where is your head? Does it roll to the back? Does it come to the front? Where is it happy? What sensations does it give back? Just notice them without judgment, accepting for what it is in the here and now. Scanning through the top of your head, bringing also your attention around to your face, the space between your eyes, your eyelids, your forehead, nose, jaw, and mouth. Taking a deep breath and letting it go, watching it travel throughout your body and repeating the scan on your own a couple of times, noticing what sensations you can notice even seeing if you can keep the breath in the background while you notice the different sensations going to the parts of your body that interest you the most. Seeing if you can breathe through them, even perhaps letting go of any tension or any uneasiness you might feel, but just being curious about it not trying to force anything. Just scanning through your body for a few breaths. Breathing in through your nose. Breathing out through your toes. Scanning the areas that interest you. 
And see also if you can see your whole body as a whole. And just scan through it. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your toes. Enjoying that sensation, connecting all the different parts of your body as a whole. Breathing in through your nose, breathing out through your toes. A couple more breaths here at your own pace. Gently also bringing your attention to the surface of your body. Bringing some energy to it and start setting your intentions for your practice today. Connecting with your body, curiously asking what it wants to do today and what you want to experiment. Do you want a nice, easy session? Do you want one so-and-so or one quite challenging? Set your dial of intention to where it feels best for you at this present moment. Wiggling your toes and wiggling your fingers, getting yourself ready for this practice. Taking a deep breath and when you feel ready, bringing your attention back to the room, to your surroundings. And when you feel ready, even completely open your eyes and do any stretch or movement that you feel you need right now. Drinking perhaps a little bit of water, giving to your body anything that it might need to start this session. And as I welcome you all gradually back to our company and our little group, I will ask you to keep that connection with your body. Remember the session can be as easy or as difficult as you make it to be. And remember what we said about break it down, slow it down, break it down again. Well done, everyone. So as we're about to begin, one thing that I would like to say is that please feel free to do the exercises from sitting or from standing. Just to avoid confusion, I will be mainly demonstrating from sitting, but whether you want to sit on the floor, whether you want to be standing, please follow your own pace. And remember, at any time you can come up or down again, it depends on how you feel. On the first instance, we'll just warm up a little bit. So let's start with our wrists, <laughs> the forgotten place. You might even notice some of you that the wrists are crickling. Mine always are up and down <laughs> and all around. <laughs> Very good. And perhaps, you know, bring the same nice movement like a wave on our elbows. Very good. And as we're bringing, literally, we're welcoming, we're bringing energy in our body. See if you can bring it also to your shoulders, even letting them roll to the back and to the front. Some of you might notice little circles feel good. Some of you might notice big ones. See how your body wants to warm up. Sometimes I might do a more exaggerated movement so you can see what I'm doing, but don't feel you have to imitate the same. Very good. And also allow ourselves to roll from side to side and just twist, no ambition, we're doing it gently. Very good, everyone. And shrugging even our shoulders, letting it go. Shrugging, letting it go. Shrugging, letting it go. Perhaps now start moving gently our head from side to side. We're not stretching it yet, just warming up our neck. Looking down and up, up and down, down and up, up and down, side to side, side to side, side to side. And if you feel ready, you can let your um, chin drop towards your chest and just allow it to roll from side to side, gently in the way that it feels good to you at this present moment. 
And when you had enough of that warm up, come to the back, allow it to look up if that's available to you. And see also if there's small rolls from side to side, even from this position. Don't force, we're not stretching, we're just warming up. Very good, everyone. Also, march a little bit on the spot to start bringing some energy to your hips. Very good. Even now, roll your pelvis back and forth. Very good. You know, I will always give hula hoops. So a few hula hoops, <laughs> rolling our pelvis to one side and then rolling them to the other side. Very good, everyone. And now, if you can sit well behind your seat, if you're sitting or even standing up, just like a kid, kick to the front and back. So let me change a little bit my camera so you can see that. Just, you know, when we are kids that we swing our legs and just kick back and front. If you're standing, you might just, even just wanna do like this. So you're just warming up basically your knees and your ankles. And also, you know, pointing with your toe, roll your ankles. If you're standing, you need to hold on, either way you will fall, rolling your ankles one way and then the other way. One way and then the other way, same sides. If you're sitting, you might even wanna do both of them together. And I will give you all a moment to just do any warm up movement that you feel you personally need. So for me, it will be from standing. I feel that usually my back is getting quite tight. So I feel I will benefit from this movement and some swings from side to side and perhaps some marches of my knee. And I can see you're all doing very different things. And I think that is good. I'll bring some energy by doing this for myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel ready. I hope everybody feels ready. I'll just give you a few more seconds to get yourselves ready. And as of before we start, there is something we will all be working with, which is the one is our breath and the other one is lengthening our spine. So we all know what lengthening our spine is, either from standing or sitting. What I want you to do is take a very deep breath and feel how everything expands and how one vertebra moves away from the other, the top of your head away from your tailbone. And when you breathe out and you allow everything to relax, if you can maintain that length. One more time, breathing in, expanding everything, lifting our spine and then see if when we breathe out and everything relaxes, we can maintain that length in our spine. And take a moment to even see if you can deliberately now lengthen your spine, even outside your breathing. Very good, everyone. If you feel like it's cutting, perhaps what you're doing is rather than lengthening, trying to look taller, so you're basically arching. If you're doing that and you notice that, that's information that's good that you've noticed. Just see if you can bring everything in and go for the length, which is basically pulling the tailbone away from the top of your head. Very good, everyone. Now, with our stretches, at all times, we'll be looking at this length. And when we breathe in, we will lengthen, regardless what position we're in. And when we breathe out, we will relax and see where our body wants to go. We don't go with stretches as far as we can and then hold it. For 30 to 40 seconds, we work on the stretch and gradually go where our body wants us to go. Sometimes it might be doing a little bit less and that's the information. So starting from our shoulders, you can bring your hands together. And when you breathe in, finding the length in your spine. And when you breathe out, see how far you wanna lift your arms. For some of you, it might be this high. For some of you might be further up. And every time you breathe in, you lengthen. And when you breathe out, you allow your arms to come up or following what comes natural to you. Breathing in, lengthening, and breathing out, stretching up your arms. Very good. In our next breath in, we will lengthen, and when we breathe out, we will allow our hands to fall behind our head. 
If you were from this position and it's too difficult, try to just bring them on your shoulders. And again, breathe in, lengthening, breathing out, letting it go behind us. In our next breath in, we're going to straighten, lengthen and straighten our left arm and bring it around to our right elbow. And when we breathe out, see if we can gently peel a little bit further back, if that is available to us. And then when we breathe in, straighten both arms, breathing out, letting the left arm uh, hand come behind our neck and bringing our right arm on our elbow. Breathing in, lengthening, and breathing out, pushing our left elbow behind us. Very good. In our next breath in, again, straightening both our hands and arms, bringing them together. And when we breathe out, allowing them to come to the front, say level as our shoulders, if that is available to us or lower. Breathing in again, finding the length in our spine. And when we breathe out with our palms facing down, bringing our hands to the side. Very good, everyone. And then breathing in, lengthening, and breathing out, rolling our palms to look up and see what difference that makes and if it allows you to go any further back or not. Breathing in, lengthening. And breathing out, bringing your right arm across your chest and your left hand on your right elbow and gently pulling towards your left shoulder if that is available to you. Breathing in, lengthening, noticing where your right shoulder is and if you need to relax it, if it's coming too close to your ears. Breathing in, lengthening. Breathing out, bending your right elbow and see if that allows for more movement. Very good, everyone. Breathing in, lengthening your spine, opening your right elbow and breathing out, allowing it to come to the side. Breathing in, lengthening and opening again your left arm. Holding it again there for a second. Breathing in, lengthening turning your palms to face the front, breathing in, lengthening, and breathing out, bringing your left arm across your chest and taking hold with your right hand of your left elbow. Breathing in, lengthening, and breathing out, bending your left elbow, and see if you can pull any further. Always be mindful that your shoulders are relaxed. Very good. Breathing in, lengthening and opening your left elbow. Breathing out, opening both your arms from the side, like wings. Breathing in, bringing the energy in the legs and breathing out, rolling them to the front to rest on your thighs. Very good, everyone. From this position, do some rolls to the front, some rolls to the back. Notice any tension. See if you can breathe through it, almost as we've done for our body scan. Even have a little bit of a play. See if you can bring the left shoulder to the front and the right to the back and then reverse that if that's available to you. A little bit of a game. You can see I'm not great at it because I'm so dyspraxic, I don't seem to be able to do it. So just keeping it interesting. Letting go of any tension in your arms. Very good, everyone. And now breathing in again, finding the length in your arm and breathing out, bringing your right arm to the front, left arm also to the front, but with a palm looking down taking hold of your hands and see if now your right hand can pull back the fingers of your left arm and feel that stretch. And then breathing in, lengthening and breathing out, reversing that. So now your left hand is pulling your right fingers towards you. See how that feels. 
Very good, everyone. If this is too high, you can always hold here. You, you, you don't have to hold too where it's uncomfortable for your shoulders. Hold where it's best for you. And when we breathe in, we'll find the length and we will reverse our fingers so the palms are looking out. Very good, everyone. And see how that feels. See, and experiment. See if your shoulders are pulled forward, what happens if you pull them back? If here is too high for you, what happens if you bring it down? Take them to where it feels nice for you. Very good. Breathing in, lengthening, and breathing out completely. Let go of everything. Do any movements that you want, and you'll be pleased to know that we finished with our arms. <laughs> so we'll bring now our attention and our tender, kind, loving attention to our neck. So what I will ask you first, bring the length, breathing in, breathing out, allowing your chest to come towards your chest and notice where it wants to stop. Don't wait, feel for pain, feel for tension, feel for tiredness, feel for any other sensation that gives you information of where it's a good stopping point for you. Again, breathing in, even in this position, finding the length and breathing out, allowing you seem to sink even further down if that's available to you. If it is not, perhaps we realize you went too far and either come back to the center if that's what you want to do or keep where you are and just notice what happens. Breathing in, lengthening even from this position. Breathing out, see if you want to sink even further down. In our next deep breath in, we will roll ourselves up. Your middle position is your resting position. Always come back to this when you need it. You can go back into the stretch when you feel ready, but do use your middle position because as we said, bring it down, slow it down, break it down again when you need to. Now we're going to do the same movement, but moving backwards. So breathing in, finding in the length. And when we're breathing out, allowing our head to go where it naturally wants to go. For some people that might not be very far, it might be mainly moving your eyes up. That's perfectly fine. It's what your body wants to do at this present moment. Two more breaths. Breathing in, even in this position, finding the length in our spine. Breathing out, seeing if our head wants to sink even further back or it's too far for it and it wants to come further up. So breathing in, lengthening, breathing out, finding out if our head wants to go further down or the reverse, it wants to come further up. Last breath in, rolling ourselves to the middle and preparing to do the same movements on the side. Anyone who needs a break, You've done enough with your neck. You can wait for as long as you want for the next body part. Breathing in, finding the length. Breathing out, allowing our right ear to come towards our right shoulder. Breathing in, finding the length here. Breathing out, perhaps even bringing our right hand on top of our head and our left hand to hold on the side and breathing out, see if we can encourage a little bit more movement. Don't pull, don't push, very gentle touch from your fingers. It's to encourage, it's not to push. Breathing in, see if you can still find the length here and breathing out, allowing everything to go where it wants to go. It might be further down or further up. Next breath in, allow your both your arms to relax and roll when you breathe out yourself. Up. See how that experience went for you and allow it to advise what you want to do now on the left side based on your experience and doing it in reality. So breathing in, finding the length, breathing out along our left ear to come towards our left shoulder. Breathing in, finding the length even in this position and breathing out, holding on the side of our right side and bringing our left hand on top of our head. See if you can encourage a little bit more movement or if it is too much for you, just don't do that. 
Remember, as difficult or easy as your body wants it to be today. Breathing in, always finding the length. Breathing out, seeing where your head wants to go, whether it is further down or a little bit further up. One more breath. And in your next breath in, finding the length, letting go of your head. And when you breathe out, allowing yourself to roll all the way up. See if you want to do anything to warm up yourselves. Very good. Very good, everyone. We will move the same movement to our torso. What we're building it for also is we're going to do a twist eventually, the betrayed twist, but twists are very good movements for us, for our lymphatic system, our internal organs, even our spines. So we're building towards that, but I want you to learn where your body wants to go through these movements first. Now for our torso, I want you to imagine your torso almost like an accordion, you know, the musical instrument and how exactly, I see someone demonstrating, so how it opens and closes and think of your ribs as such. So when we will come into the front, our ribs are coming together to the front. When we're going to the back, our ribs will come together on the back and same thing with the sides. All right, everyone, let's start from the front. Breathing in, finding always our length. So we don't cram our spine. And when we breathe out, we bring our ribs together to the front. Your lower back might also move or your shoulders, but your attention is to your ribs coming together to the front and opening to the back. Breathing in, finding the length even in this position. And when you breathe out, if you want, you can even bring your hands together and pull forwards to see if you can make that stronger. If you need to. If you don't need to, don't do that. Breathing in, finding the length from this position. And breathing out, see if you can sink even further into it and what your body tells you. Or perhaps it tells you the reverse. You went too far. Go a little bit further out. One more breath at your own pace. And in your next breath in, allow your arms to relax if you were using them. And as you breathe out, slowly roll yourself up, perhaps even support yourself with your hands on your thighs to roll yourself up. Very good, everyone. Your middle position, remember, is your uh, rest position, but also the position in which you check if you need a break, what you need, if you need water, whatever the body tells you I need, do for your body. Now we're going to do the same thing, but moving backwards. So breathing and finding the length always. And when we breathe out, we see if we can bring our ribs together in the back. Some of you might want to support your neck in this position. If you do, please do that. In our next breath in, Again, finding the length even in this position. And when you breathe out, see if you can relax even further back or the reverse, you need to come a little bit up. You, if you wanna make it stronger, you can bring your hands to your um, shoulders and kind of pull back. Some of you might even wanna open your arms, bringing them back together. Breathing in, finding the length in your spine, breathing out, lengthening in this and opening. You're opening like a sunflower, bringing, you know, the sun to your body. One more breath at your own pace. And again, when you breathe in, finding the length, bringing your hands back to our shoulders, relaxing them, and when you breathe out, roll yourself to the middle. Very good, everyone. Same movements on the side. Prepare yourself, breathing in, finding the length. Breathing out, start bringing your ribs together towards your right. And breathing in, finding the length even in this position. Perhaps even bringing your hands to your shoulder and breathing out, bringing your ribs together. The shoulders are not necessary. It's only if you feel that you wanna make it stronger. Otherwise, let go. Again, breathing in, finding the length even in this position and breathing out, bringing your ribs together. In our next breath in, we'll find the length even in this position. And when we breathe out, letting go of our hands and rolling ourselves up, you can always support yourself with your hands and your thighs. Take a moment to see what you need, how you feel and how you prepare 
for the left side. Okay, everyone. Breathing in, growing taller. And breathing out, allowing our ribs to come together on the left side. Breathing in, finding the length in this position, perhaps even bringing our hands to our shoulders. And breathing out, see where our body wants to sink. Is it further down? Is it further up? Just take it where it wants to go. If your muscles are not doing it and not allowing you by relaxation to go somewhere, then what is it doing it? Perhaps it's not a good thing. Perhaps you want to follow your muscles. Breathing and finding the length. Breathing out, singing where you want to sing. One more breath at your own pace. And in your next breath in, finding the length where you are. Allowing your arms to rest on your thighs and breathing out, rolling yourself up to the middle. I will give you one minute, all of you, to come one moment to do what you need to do to kind of bring yourself ready for doing same kind of things for our lower back and our lower limbs. And I will just have a look at the chat also to see if there is any questions. Fantastic. Okay, so if we feel ready, remember middle position, your resting position, or if you like even better, your reset position. If you struggle, don't go, as we said, with a current. Don't go with a struggle. Rem turn yourself in your reset position and let it advise you what you need to do. It might be that you just want to go back to a body scan until the rest of us finish. So allow the middle position to be your reset button, basically. Okay? So breathing in, finding the length in our spine and breathing out, bringing our hands to our thighs and start rolling ourselves to the front. Breathing in, finding the length even in this position. And perhaps some of you want to keep your legs a little bit more open to allow you for that forward movement and breathing out, rolling more to the front. As you come to the front, some of you might want to slide your hands down your shins if that is available to you. You can do that or just keep them on your thigh. Breathing in, finding the length in this position and breathing out, perhaps completely letting go of your head and relaxing it and see how far your body wants to go and where does it want to turn. For some of you, it might be that you can bring your hands on your ankles. For some of you, it might even be that you want to bring it on the floor. Whatever you decide to do, just make certain you have good balance and you don't fall. Now, some people love to be in this position and want to stay for a long time. For some people, this is torture. If that is you, stay there for longer. If that is good for you, roll yourself up if you had enough. One more breath at your own pace, finding the length even in this position. Breathing out, completely relaxing and let go. And in your next breath in, bring again your hands to your thighs, finding the length. And as you breathe out, roll yourself all the way up. Oh, I see a lot of people were able to do that. Well done, everyone. It's not always an easy movement. Now, to, uh, depending on your chair, some of you might want to move to the front, some of you the reverse, they might want to come fully to the back to have the support. What we're going to do is an extension, we're going to come back. If you're standing, what you want to do is perhaps bring your hands to your thighs so you can push them forward, depending on what you want to do. I will demonstrate in all positions. So breathing in, finding our length, and breathing out moving backwards to extend our spine. Breathing in, finding the length even in this position. If you're here, support perhaps your neck with your hands and allow everything to fall behind. Breathing in, finding the length even in this position. And breathing out, see if we wanna go further back or actually we went too, back, too far back and we want, need to come a little bit further up. Breathing in, allowing everything to lengthen. Find any tension and see if you can stretch it out and lengthen it. And when you breathe out, allow everything to fall where they want to fall. One more breath at your own pace. And when 
your next breath comes when you breathe in, first bringing your head up, allowing your arms to come to your thighs, and when you breathe out, roll yourselves all the way up. You're in the middle, your reset button. <laughs> And now we're going to prepare for our twist. Our twist is our star movement, and it's a movement that I find many times people are scared away from doing, but it's a necessary movement because this is how we turn in bed. This is how we roll out of bed. This is how we clean ourselves when we go to the toilet. We never discuss about it, but it's a big thing when you have pain. This is how we can do a lot of things. This is how we check for traffic. This is how we drive. So we need to be able to do it. And also it's actually very good movement for our joints and our internal organs. And also if you feel very, very sleepy, it's a good way to wake yourself up. So, but we will start gently. Breathing, and we prepared our spine. Breathing in, growing taller. And when you breathe out, all I want you to do is bring your hands to your right side, no ambition, just let them land where they want to land and allow your torso to follow as it wants. Just relax here, enjoy the position. That might be enough for you. The next step only if you feel ready. Breathing in, finding the length in this position and bringing perhaps the right hand behind your back and your left hand further towards your hip. And when you breathe out, see if you can gently pull yourself more to the right. And again, if that proves too strong, just go back to the previous position. That's the right position for you this morning. Don't go against the current. Go with the current of your body. Breathing in, finding the length even in this position and breathing out, see if you can look over your right shoulder and see how that feels. If it feels too much, return to any of the previous position. Two more breaths here. Some of you might even find that they can open the arms. If you feel you wanna do that, you can, or bring them around their back. If you want to do that, do that. Just see what feels right for you. One more breath at your own pace, always breathing in, finding the length in your spine, and breathing out, relaxing, and seeing where your body wants to go and taking it there, not further away, just where it wants to go. In your next breath in, grow tall and bring your right hand again to the front of your right thigh and your left hand to your left thigh. And as you breathe out, gently support yourself into slowly rolling on the middle position. I hope everyone is fine. If anyone is struggling, remember your reset button. Stay here, relax, enjoy the, the, <laughs> the views. Just stay where you are. Also use the experience of the red side to advise what you wanna do on the left side. Okay, breathing in, growing tall, and breathing out, allowing both our hands to come to our left side and just rest there. Our torso might have slightly followed the move of our arms. That might be the best position for you. So stay here or come back to this if you need to. Breathing in, growing tall, long and bringing your left hand behind your left back and your right hand further up on your thigh and hip. And when you breathe out, see if you can pull slightly towards your left, your body. Breathing in, growing tall. And breathing out, see if you can also look over your left shoulder. At any time, go further to the front or completely take a break if that's the right thing for you. Every time you breathe in, you lengthen, and every time you breathe out, you see where your body wants to relax. Some of you might want to open your arms or bring them behind your back. See what feels better for you and do that. Two more breaths here at your own pace. At any time, you can roll back if you want to. In our next breath in, turn your head to the front, bring your left hand to your left thigh, right hand to the right thigh, and then on your breath out, support yourself to roll yourself in the middle. Very well, everyone. Now, if it is available to you, I'll just bring the camera a little bit further down. Bring your right ankle 
to uh, over your left ankle. If you can, even further up, over your left knee. Breathing in, finding the length in your spine and breathing out, taking hold of your right knee and gently pulling it towards your left shoulder. If you're here, just doing this movement really. Yeah, it doesn't have to be too strong. Two more breaths here. Next breath in, grow taller and breath out, completely letting go. In your next breath in, again, grow taller. And when you breathe out, bring your ankle where it wants to go, whether left ankle over right ankle or over your right knee. And then taking hold of your knee or your thigh, if it is further down, pulling it towards your right shoulder. Breathing in, growing taller. Breathing out, pulling towards your right shoulder. Two more breaths here. Very good, everyone. And breathing out, letting go. I will keep the camera like that so you can see my feet because we have moved on the feet. If you are standing up, you can do this as, uh, as a high lunge, like this. So bringing your legs straight on the front and those up and bending towards them for the exact same thing from sitting. So we'll start from our right side. Extending your right leg to the front, you might need to slide at the edge of your seat to be able to do that. Then pulling your right toes towards you, breathing it, finding the length, and bringing your hands on your waist. When you breathe out, see if you can start bending straight down as a plank from your hips rather than your waist and feel perhaps for a stretch behind your leg. If you're standing up, it will look as such. So same thing. Two more breaths there. Remember breathing in, finding length in your spine, breathing out, reaching for your toes if that's available to you or just stay where you are, where you feel is good for you and see if you can maintain a straight back rather than rounding yourself. In the next breath in, grow taller. And as you breathe out, let go of your toes and roll yourself up. Come to your reset position and we will move to do the same thing on the left side. So, straight leg in front of us, hands on our waist, breathing in, pulling our toes up and finding the length in our spine. And then when we breathe out from our hips, starting to lean forward, if we can with a straight back, if that is possible, if not, round yourself. There's not really any right or wrong. Breathing in, finding the length in our spine, breathing out, for some of you it might be possible to even reach towards your toes. Very good, everyone. Breathing in, finding the length, breathe and bringing your hand on your thigh, breathing out, let go of your toes and roll yourself up. Very good, everyone. We're running a little bit over to about two minutes. I think it's because we started a bit later. My apologies for that. If anyone needs to go, please do that. You don't need to explain yourself. So, so if it is easy enough for you to do, for our next one, if you're standing, you can take hold of your leg and bring it to the back. If you cannot do that, but you can stand, you can do the same thing, but bringing your foot on your chair and leaning on the front. Or if you cannot, just bringing the leg behind you in your seat. And again, pushing your hips to the front so you feel a nice stretch here. Find the position that works for you so you get the most out of it. Breathing and finding length. Breathing out, pushing forward and pulling our thigh back. I'm doing the left side, but you might have started with a different side. It's fine. Breathing in, find length. Breathing out, lengthening. In our next breath in, let go of the tension on your leg. 
And when you breathe out, allow everything to relax. I will demonstrate the other leg myself from standing to give an opportunity also for the people who weren't sitting to sit. Okay, so you use the other side that you didn't do. Putting your leg on the top of the chair. So it's a little bit behind you, breathing in, growing tall and breathing out, pushing your hips forward so you feel a stretch on the front of the thigh on the supported leg. Very good, everyone. Two more breaths. Breathing and growing taller, breathing out, stretching to the front. One more, at your own pace. And when you feel ready, breathing in, finding the length, breathing out, letting go slowly of everything. Returning to the middle. And now either from sitting or standing, what you wanna do is take the front part of your foot and place it down like that. If you're standing, just press it down to feel a nice stretch on the front part of your foot. You can do the same thing from sitting like this. Two more breaths here and then the reverse. Once you finish with the two breaths, bring the top of your toes down and press down your foot so you feel a nice stretch here. Or if you're standing, that's the supporting leg, just bend it to feel a stretch on your calf. Very good. And then opposite side. Top of foot down, pressing it down so you feel a nice stretch here. And when you feel ready, bringing your toes down. And then bending both the legs to bring vertically your weight down so you feel a nice stretch here. Or the same thing from sitting, if you're sitting. Just pressing down your heel so you feel a stretch. Very good, everyone. Taking a deep breath. Let everything go. <laughs> well done, everyone. Take a deep breath, open to the world, welcome the day that is coming and also thank yourself for trying so hard this morning. What I'm going to do in just one second is I ask you all to do what you need to do, move around, do a hula hoop, anything you might need. And I will ask also Matthew to stop the recording so we can have a conversation for anyone who wants to ask a question. Please, once the recording stops, unmute yourself and Join us.